So guys, it seems like Tesla has finally done it. They are optimizing hardware 3 vehicles to further extend the lifespan before entirely ending support. No matter what it seems and no matter what anyone else says, this 6 year old hardware is on its way out and it's quite silly to think anything else. Truth be told, it's quite surprising that Elon was straight to the point at this time in regards to full self driving that the next generation AI model is going to 5x the parameter accounts and it will be quite difficult to optimize hardware 3 to run it. Now obviously for the time being we all might be fooled with the fact that they are continuously updating with 12.5.1 and 12.5.1.1 and whatever the next decibel point will be but that is going to eventually come to an end just because there is no sense in continuing the optimization and the processing for hardware 3 vehicles. This means that at the very minimum without any additional optimization, the next chip that is going to run the latest builds of full self driving is going to at least be 5 times more powerful than the last and luckily for us hardware 4 is approximately 8 times more powerful than hardware 3 and this is going to be the chip that Tesla will be focusing on before moving on to hardware 5. So I know this is hard to hear and it's going to put us in a not so favorable position especially for those who just picked up their Model 3 or Model Y with hardware 3 inside. But really when it comes down to it we just have to accept the fact and this channel is not going to be one that is going to bluff. We know for a fact that hardware 3 is on its way out and there is no defeating physical hardware compatibility. Alright, so here's the thing. I know a lot of you guys may not think this is as big of a deal whereas others do because those other places outside of North America have not even gotten to use a full self-driving to its fullest extent. That means that Hardware 3 was sitting in the background the entire ownership of the car. And to make matters worse, those of you guys living in Europe, in Asia, and other parts of the world that have gone out and purchased the full self-driving package, this is where you are at a loss right from the get-go and this is where things feel extremely unfair. So at this point it sounds extremely bad and has been blown quite out of proportion and it caught the attention of Elon finally. In the recent days Tesla released full self-driving 12.5 branch and fully transitioned over to the next generation AI model. This meant that the processing requirement surpassed that of hardware 3 it was able to provide essentially removing it off of the list of rollout vehicles. Many owners were upset and disgruntled about the decision and voiced their concerns on Twitter. This eventually caught the attention of Elon and garnered a response on full self-driving with Hardware 3 Suite. Now looking back at his original tweet, he mentioned that through the 5x parameter count increase, it will be very difficult to achieve without upgrading the vehicle's interference computer. And to put it into simple terms, the possibility is there, anything is achievable, but if they are willing to go through with it is the final point. So this doesn't necessarily say no that Hardware 3 is suddenly going to lose support, but it does indicate that they don't have intentions to continue efforts on this suite of hardware. Hardware. Now when it comes to technology and hardware, this is pretty normal, but when it comes to Tesla and their promises, this is extremely hard to look the other way. The frustration is definitely there for owners of vehicles with Hardware 3, the promise is that it will eventually be activated and now being told that it is no longer supported, this is where all the built up anger comes from. What they got in the end was a car that helped train the entire system of full self driving but it lost support port even before the software was activated. This is less felt in North America being that both country of US and Canada have been running builds of full self driving beta and supervised for the last couple of years. This is a lot of broken promises for those living outside. So with all that being said, there is some good news with all of our voices gathering together, pushing Tesla to further optimize for hardware 3. They are doing exactly that and continuing to support for the latest builds of FSD. In a more recent tweet by Elon, as full self-driving 12.5.1 begins rollout, he indicates that it will take considerable software efforts to optimize code to run on hardware 3. 
3, the codes will also need to be validated separately from Hardware 4, which further adds the complexity and progress of full soft driving. But being so, he concluded that Hardware 3 rollout will continue and will approximately be out in 10 days. This means that Tesla is still pushing forward as much as possible to keep older hardware on the latest version of full soft driving. And that would mean that for all of you running Hardware 3, this is excellent news and you will likely see support for at least a few more updates before Tesla decides what to do next. Now how Tesla will approach this is quite complicated. They will have to compile everything from the latest version of full self driving 12.5 with 5 times the parameter counts into something much smaller, something much more optimized to run on the last generation hardware. We don't know as of yet how this will perform to vehicles running on the latest build but on hardware 4. But as Chuck puts it, the enormous compression and optimization will likely come at the expense of performance and latency and this is not something we have ever seen before on any of the upgrades. If you want to know more about Hardware 3 transitioning to Hardware 4, go check out my previous video. I have at least 3 to 4 videos by now on the end of life support and what they are doing next to get this going. All of that I will drop in the description below and one up top there, the latest one, you guys can check out what they have done so far. All of this just goes to show how much Tesla is trying to optimize their entire fleet all to be on the exact same hardware and they have been pushing quite a bit of new changes to the older vehicles as well. Now as for the real first indicator of this change that Tesla is transitioning over to the next generation AI platform and 5xing the parameter counts as well as optimizing for hardware 3 they are doing something to the camera quality that really shocks us all. With the latest software build 2024.26.3.1, a Reddit user that goes by the 10th legend has posted an image of his front camera preview showing what Tesla has recently done to the quality and camera processing. The previews here that we got to see shows that Tesla has greatly reduced the color and the quality processing, making it a lot less vivid and colorful than what it once was now a lot more dull and gray. Then we have a video from a user on X that goes by Toads Forever. They managed to capture a before and after just as the image quality changes and this is where we got to see the quick transition from something that was a lot more colorful to something that was extremely dull. All of this can only lead to the conclusion that Tesla is removing unnecessarily details from the camera feed, thus reducing the amount of data going into the computer. And all of this is done in preparation for the public and the full self-driving branch to merge to be capable of running on the latest and the last generation hardware. Now this really is just a long shot, but this is very specific to hardware 3 vehicles as hardware 4 has not seen this even with the latest builds. So all of the newer cars right now, the Model 3 Highlands and the Model Ys with hardware 4, even updating to the latest 2024 public build, you are going to see the exact same color and vivid screen but for those of you with hardware 3 on the older 3s and Ys, you are going to see a much more dull and gray camera feed. This could quite honestly be the very first indication of the optimization that Elon was talking about, that they are now going to reduce it and compress it down for it to run on the oldest generation hardware. So yeah, if this isn't considered good news, I don't know what really is. This just means that Tesla is capable of pushing down and compressing all the large formats into something much more smaller and much more usable. This means that the mass majority of cars out there today is going to be running the latest generation of full self-driving. We don't know how this is going to take us in the future, but as of right now, it should be on the exact same level as hardware 4. Full self-driving 12.5 branch for hardware 3 hasn't officially been out yet, but it should be very soon, at least in the next couple of days as Elon has said. Hopefully it is going to be just as good as any other vehicle out there today. I will continue to keep an eye out on all of this, specifically Hardware 3 and what we are going to be doing for those cars once it loses support or once it gains additional support. All of this is going to be available as soon as anything comes out. So make sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on X or Twitter at HeyJohnE. Over there you guys can chat with me, DM with me anytime and I will respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again.
皮手